Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here for Sports Choice Plus and bring you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering if head coach Nick Nurse made the right decision passing on the Suns job for the Sixers job. Before I get right into it, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at this offseason, head coach now of the Philadelphia 76ers, former coach of the Toronto Raptors, Nick Nurse is now the head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. He was essentially offered the job for the Phoenix Suns, turned that down to possibly coach Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and Chris Paul to coach Joel Embiid. Now, the future for both of these teams are undecided because we don't know if, if Chris Paul is going to be there. You don't know if James Harden is going to stay there. But you do have a foundational piece with Joel Embiid. Coming off of an NBA season, they were disappointing in the way they lost to the Boston Celtics late in the year. But you got to keep in mind, this is a head coach that got the best out of Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors and got them their first NBA championship. When you think of the likes of having DeAndre Aiden, when you think of the likes of having a KD, an older KD, a younger Devin Booker, you're, you're thinking about there's a lot of possibilities, but there are also risk factors as far as injury, as far as are they going to keep this same team together or how are they going to fill out the bench? It's a number of things. I think Philadelphia has a better core if you're thinking of overall youth, overall talent, because KD is a talent. Let's just be honest. He's an offensive talent, and Booker is too. But if these guys get injured or these guys slow down, do you really have a rest of a roster there? I think that Philly, even without James Harden, they can still survive. Having Joel Embiid as your centerpiece, you can have you have a little cap space to play with. If James Harden doesn't come back, you can still bring guys in. You have Maxi, you have Tobias Harris. You have a couple of different players on that team that make this team better. So it's not all about just James Harden. The, the possibility of playing in the East, playing uh, essentially in a loaded West where you're going to have to play everybody's best every night. You're looking at Memphis, you're looking at Denver, you're looking at Sacramento, you're looking at Utah getting back into the mix, you're looking at the Lakers, you're looking at a, a West that's, that's loaded with the Timberwolves. They have a lot of different teams that can play you good every night. So Nick Nurse, I think, made the best decision for himself. He has some work to do with his relationship with Joel Embiid. As you know, they went back and forth on Twitter a little bit. But I think that as far as the head coaching goes, it's an upgrade from Doc Rivers. It's a better decision maker, a better play caller. I think that he got the best out of that young Toronto Raptors team. But you got to think, they fired him because, you know, the NBA is a cutthroat business right now. You see Budenhoser get fired with Milwaukee. You see uh, Phoenix fired their coach. You see Doc got fired. A lot of guys are just getting fired. Unless you're winning championships. So did Nick Nurse make the best decision? Only time will tell. But I think overall, the outside looking in, the answer is yes. I think Nick Nurse not only is an acceptable head coach, he's a little bit better than what his record says. And I think he gets the best out of young talent. I think he'll motivate Joel Embiid to play full season of basketball and really get in better shape. So, are you Sixers fans? Are you Suns fans? Are you Raptors fans? Get in the comment section. Are you NBA fans? Tell me what you think about the topic, and then we'll see you on the next video.